Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can turn yourself into a cute 3D cartoon character for the purpose of Skyping with your friends, doing a video call on Facebook Messenger, or recording and streaming videos using a tool like OBS. So the program we need to do this is called FaceRig, which is available on Steam. I've already gone ahead, purchased, installed it, so I'm going to launch FaceRig up. And what you're going to end up with is something like this, where you have your webcam in the bottom left hand corner, assuming a webcam's already set up, and you'll have your animated character in the middle. You can see based on the webcam and how I move my head around, that it's already tracking my movements. It may not work that smoothly for you out of the box, so when you launch into FaceRig, I would say one of the first things you're going to want to do is to calibrate the tracking. So if you click Auto Calibrate Tracking, and then uh, when you're ready, you look at your camera, or pretty close to it, and then you hit Calibrate. And what that's going to do is it's going to set the neutral position and posture for your character. So now if I look down, the character looks down. If I look up, the character looks up, so on and so forth. And that's what we're looking for. Now, a couple more things we're going to need to do involve the advanced UI. So on the far right, click switch to advanced UI, and we can change our avatar to any character. It actually defaults to this fox over here, this uh, 3D anime girl is a new one. But there's lots of other characters that you can use as well. So pick one you like, and you can also pick the skin for it, which will uh, slightly change the look of the character. And then on the second right hand tab, we can select an environment. So I've already selected this blue one, which is pretty nice, but we can switch to something like this house over here. And you'll notice that when you do switch to an environment, it changes the lighting uh, since it's a 3D character and all, which is really cool because the lighting on the character makes it reflect a lot more as if that character was really in that zone. Now, if you're going to want to filter out the background, you're going to want to select this green screen over here. And then in a program like OBS, you can use Chroma Key to filter out the background so that it only shows the character. And in the bottom left hand corner, by default, it's going to show the logo, which you may not want to appear in the video. So if you click on general options, you can turn that up in the top left hide logo. But as long as it's tracking our character properly, um, then we're pretty much going to be good to go. We just need to add it to Skype or OBS or whichever program we're using. If you don't want it to show your actual webcam while you're recording or streaming or sharing with your friends, you can click the X button on the webcam too. And you can actually hide the entire interface by clicking up here the hide interface button. So now as long as you're not moving around in the face rig, basically if you have it as a background app, it's going to only show the character and only show the background. And the last setting you're gonna to have to change inside of FaceRig is to toggle the broadcast so that other programs can actually see the FaceRig and use it. So make sure that toggle broadcast is enabled. You'll know it's enabled because the icon is fully visible. So the only thing you're gonna to have to do now is in a program like Skype, go into the settings and wherever it has the webcam setting, you need to change that from your default webcam to the face rig virtual camera. So in Skype or whichever program you happen to be using, you need to take the webcam setting and you need to change it from your default webcam to the face rig virtual camera device. So this device will only show up while face rig is running since it is a virtual camera and therefore is created by the software. And what will happen is wherever your webcam would have been, it's going to replace that video feed with whatever you have showing in face rig. So that's the gist of how you set up FaceRig Virtual Camera to work with any video webcam application, whether that's recording for a video or streaming to your friends with a tool like Skype or Facebook Messenger. My friend Chris, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully I helped you guys out, and I will see you in my future video content.